there are things that work occasionally, you know, the government funds. And this was one of them. When George Bush was president in 2003, he made a State of the Union declaration that the United States should create an emergency program, and that was called PEPFAR. It operated in more than 50 countries, and it played a monumental role in saving what it estimates are 26 million lives. In Eswatini and Lesotho, in 2015, somewhere between 25 and 31 percent of adults were living with HIV. I mean, a staggering prevalence. For a week in May, I spent three and a half days in each country. What I saw was the fabric was coming apart at the seams. It's not simply about drugs. Because drug pricing dropped, Eswatini and Lesotho started to purchase most all of the drugs themselves. It's about getting to the clinic. PEPFAR provided transport for many people. It's about paying for people at the clinic to do testing, to be nurses, to be counselors. I went to one clinic in Lesotho of pregnant women where there were no HIV tests available. Children die very quickly when they're infected at birth and untreated. People said to me, whoever made these decisions really didn't understand the impact of what they were doing because they wouldn't have made these decisions if they truly understood what this virus does, how it moves around, and how it affects communities and breaks families. The House and the Senate passed a bill that restored PEPFAR funding. But you still have these programs that have fired all this staff. And it will take quite a while, I think, for these countries to get back up to speed to where they were, even if the money becomes available.